So Grace, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, yeah, I'm definitely really excited to be here. So Grace, you started Shopper Next Door. It's a site basically matching up high risk individuals who maybe can't get out with volunteers. Tell us about that. Well, when this pandemic hit Washington the hardest, you know, I was still in California for school. So I felt really helpless, you know, just um, growing concern over my parents, senior citizens in my neighborhood, and just vulnerable members of the community. Returning home in mid-March, I really wanted to create a platform to mobilize lower risk, healthy young individuals to help take care of our higher risk neighbors. And this was really the start of Shopper Next Door. Right now we're just focused on the local greater Seattle area. And what we found is that there's an overwhelming amount of people that needed some support right now, but an equally overwhelming amount of people who are really excited to help. So you're a local gal, right? You went to Issaquah High School and now you're in college. So you're still fairly young. My 20th birthday is this summer. Who are some of these high-risk individuals? We really want to help anyone that might need an extra hand right now. So of course that does mean our higher risk individual mem um, individuals who are community members over 65 years old or who are immunocompromised. But that also means people that are single parents, um, low income individuals, uh, people with disabilities. We know that this pandemic has really disrupted daily life and you just never know which one of your neighbors might need some extra support right now. So how does this differ from like a, a grocery store delivery service? The first is that these services right now, most of them cost money and Shopper Next Door is completely free. The second is that these services are really overwhelmed with high demand right now. Um, for instance, um, Instacart. So there's a lot of website crashes and just really delayed deliveries. And how do you guys follow the uh, social distancing um, guidelines? Our shoppers, every time they set out um, to do something, they're required to wear masks. When our shoppers make a grocery delivery, they put it on the front porch and then we ask the neighbors that when they pick it up to wipe down all the groceries. Just to be clear, your volunteers are all volunteers. They're not getting paid anything for their time and their effort. They're just doing this because they want to help. Yeah, most of the volunteers are college students like myself who have returned home from school, but we also do have some adults in our community. And all of them, you know, are so excited to help every time they make a delivery, they leave a handwritten personalized note. So how does it make you feel knowing that you're really helping people in a really tangible way? Just the community being unified, that's what's making all the difference right now. Well, Grace, thanks so much for your time.